Hey, it's Sharon here from Content Sparks, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up your own custom color scheme in PowerPoint. So whenever you create your own content or take some brandable content and put your own theme and styles and colors on it, you're going to want to have them ready to go and not have to recreate them every time. So here I have a slide open. I've customized the slide in the slide size under the design tab over on the right here. So we created a custom slide size so that it's more of a printable on a standard piece of paper. So you can create this as a handout or download. So we customized the slide and now for creating any elements or taking any uh, smart art and making it your colors, you want to go into design and then over on the right there's a drop down and you can see there's colors. If you already have a scheme set up like we do for Content Sparks, you can pick that and just start working right away. Same with the fonts. But if you don't have them, you want to go into colors, go to the bottom and click on customize colors. And then for all of these different colors, you pick the ones that are your brand. So for example, I've got accent one and then I can pick what's there or I can go into more colors and so long as you have these codes the red green blue for your colors you can go ahead and um, and put those in there so there are also some standard colors if you have something that's close but it's best if you have a brand logo if someone created it for you make sure you get that code in there for your colors and then you'll go back and do that for each of your accents your text background all these different things followed hyperlinks and then save the name so as i said this one is content sparks i've already done it and let me show you what that does for you so now once you want to edit something say you click on the element here this is a smart art which i'll show you how to do in another video but I'm clicking on just that orange box and say want to make it something different. So I'll go into format up at the top. These are smart art tools. But if you have any shape selected, it's going to give you that option to format it. And then when I click on shape fill and I click the down arrow, it has my theme colors at the top. So I can right away just pick one of my other colors and fill in that box with that or pick something else. It'll also show you recent colors that you've done. So if you didn't save your color scheme, you will, but you've set some of them up already, you will see the recent colors and you can always save your color scheme before you leave. But here I would just click on it and it would change that particular one. Same with the text. I could highlight some text and you'll get a text pop up. Otherwise up at the top, you can go into the text fill or go over into home and then your usual text color button and again I have all the colors there so I could just grab one of them and it'll change it so you can do that in, with individual elements like these boxes or you know pretty much pretty much anything and you'll have your colors ready to go. So make sure you do that. Again, you go into design and then over on the right, you click the down arrow into colors, customize your colors, save them under a name, and then they'll be up there as your custom colors in the future whenever you want to apply that to a new slide or when you're branding some slide that you've gotten with the brandable rights. Hope that helped and let me know if you have any questions.